John here guys and today we're here with this tiny ape no not that tiny ape this one it's Darwin FPV's new tiny little drone that not only has a small price but a tiny footprint we're gonna see if this is living up to its reputation as the best park flyer of 2022 what everyone is going ape about the Darwin FPV tiny ape the baby ape's smaller sibling that manages to bring the cost up while bringing both the size and weight down. The $130 price tag seems a little strange at first, but when you think about how much a salad costs compared to a double cheeseburger, it starts to make sense that losing size and weight may cost a little more, especially during this massive global chip shortage time. The 55 gram weight with props and strap gives a solid but very light weight and more importantly, an almost silent operation for the ultimate park or driveway nimble flyer. Darwin seemingly came out of nowhere a year or so ago with their $80 baby ape, but that actually flew well and has managed to steal a rather large portion of Emax's lunch, whose baby hawk line dominated this space until recently. Somebody stole <laughs> they look close to the same size from the videos, but in real life, the tiny ape is much, much smaller than the baby ape and weighs almost 20 grams less. It's also a two and a half inch compared to the baby ape three inch. So how does it stack up compared to the most prolific toothpick release of all time, the Diatone Cube 229. It feels slightly less powerful than the Cube, but also quieter, and they are within 5 grams of each other. What's probably more noticeable is while the Cube has a racer-style bottom-slung battery mounting position, the Tiny 8 manages to fit the battery on top while keeping a tiny size to give a more freestyle and beginner-friendly top bounced battery flight feel. Speaking of feel, the tune on this tiny cheap drone is one of the best I've ever felt. It's incredibly smooth out of the box. I strongly suggest that you do not buy this and immediately flash it. Part of what you're paying for is this spectacular tune, so at the very least, give it a shot out of the box. Of course, it comes with the popular standard Express LRS control link, and they've made some improvements over the Baby Ape. One, Express LRS is now integrated into the all-in-one board, which makes a less complicated, very easy binding solution. I'll have a link below that you can use to convert your Express LRS bind phrase to a CLI command to simply paste and save. No bind button procedure needed. The video transmitter is the same somewhat large for a micro option, but it does go from 25 all the way up to an impressive 600 milliwatt which provides a video for, to an upgraded camera, the Runcam Nano 4. They both use the same F411 2S 15 amp all-in-one board, which comes already upgraded to Blue J ESC firmware and Betaflight 4.3 out of the box. The two and a half inch tri-blade props are spun by a smaller and lighter 1103 8000 KV motor. One interesting thing is that there's an option to add the run cam thumb camera for about $60 more. However, I feel this is not a requirement as you could always add it later and they don't pre-wire it up for you. You still need to wire up the connector that it comes with. The other reason I don't recommend is that I tried both a 452S tattoo battery and the 520 GNB that got about two and a half to four minutes respectively. Both took up the entire top plate, which would not leave room for mounting the camera anyway. I'd recommend you save that camera for the larger and slightly cheaper Baby Ape. So what do you get for $50? more compared to that baby ape you get a better tune a better camera a smaller and lighter more nimble package if that is worth it to you then this is the one for you if not you can save the fifty dollars and get the larger brother i'll have links below for both that you can click to support the channel if you have a little bit more room to play you can always go with that three inch feel over this smaller two and a half inch 
both are really fun options. I still feel that even today, the Cube 229 is the best toothpick of all time, but you can't buy that one anymore. And most of the things out on the market today are underpowered in comparison. The Tiny Ape offers the best performance and price intersection in this class we've seen in a few years. I had nothing but video and control link issues with the Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle, and this is a similarly sized offering for less that flies better and has systems that actually work well. Emacs's day as the micro champion seems to be over as this is two hits in a row for the new but now proven Darwin FPV team. Is this really worth going ape over? Let's find out guys. the best park flyer, the best driveway ripper, the best around your backyard toss a rounder that we've seen in a very long time. People are really excited about making their own toothpicks a few years ago, but that popularity seems to have died out. And for good reason, you can't put together your own tiny drone kit for this low of a price. So when it comes to buy it or build it in the micro range where you don't want to have to worry about weight with this thing only weighing 50 grams, it's easy to make the decision to go ahead and snag this one up. Emacs has been very popular at this size, but they've been really dropping the ball using the D8 protocol, which has super short range and really unreliable video transmitters that just don't seem to work well for me and this one fixes both of those for a lower price. Thanks guys.